What's up guys? Riviera Customs here. Been slacking on my videos, but uh, whatever. Here's another one. So, got a new phone. It's my second time trying to record. This phone's a piece of crap. I'll try my best here. So, went and bought plugs and a belt. Now the plugs are not your stock, in my case, Escalade spark plugs because it has been carb converted. So when you carb convert, this is the route I went with some NGK spark plugs, V-Power, and there's your part number. Focus, see, this thing's a piece of junk, you can throw it off the wall. Anyway, um, TR5-2238. And for the belt, if you're going my route, the electric water pump, electric fan, and you're just running an alternator. This is the route I went with that. It's a Deco poly rib, part number 6PK1145. So that's that. It works good. ICT billet alternator bracket, relocation bracket has the adjuster on it you can see the slide right there what's next is I'm gonna grab my water pump gaskets and I have it zip tied right now because I need to find the bracket that holds it here hold the rad as soon as I do that I can do my plumbing for the rad and then the wiring for the water pump. Water pump, the ground, it's just gonna go to a frame ground, wherever, somewhere. And this is gonna go from this to a switch in the car, and then back to the battery. So, manually turn the pump on and off as well as the fans too I have two 12 inch fans that go here on the shroud same thing ground them and run the wires to a switch and uh, back to the battery so that's that pretty sure that's how that goes pretty confident in that then uh, Next, I got this, there's three wires going from the car, stock wiring, they go there obviously, All right. And then you got your big one going to the battery, then you got this third one with a tiny little loop that don't fit on there, so, but underneath here, there's a little clip push on so in my head what I'm thinking I should I'm supposed to do is cut this wire and put that end on it so that I can slide it onto that clip I think that's what I'm supposed to do with that if uh, you guys have any comments or suggestions uh, on, uh, on that or if I'm wrong let me know I gotta get that done and then uh, next step I'm told to for the alternator this is the factory wiring harness to the car obviously it doesn't clip on to that one um, pretty sure uh, I'm not pretty sure I don't really know but uh, as far as I know here's 
going to the battery to the alternator. This is just the old piece, it's there. I gotta take it off. And then you got your harness. So obviously the harness is for your gauge in your car for your voltage. But I don't know how to hook it up. I'm told I just need the brown wire to eliminate the power wire. And the brown wire just goes straight to the brown wire on here. But then you got this wire which is confusing, I don't know. So, again, if anybody knows, let me know. This is the AC Delco, or sorry, the Delphi stock alternator to the 6 liter out of the Escalade. And that's the stock car harness, so... Anybody has any ideas on that? Let me know. So there's that. And then the starter to figure out and the alternator to figure out. And then another big thing I have to do is the oil pans touching the frame. So I'm going to start. They need to be changed anyways. The motor mounts, the rubber bushings are weak. And the ears on the rubber bushings have been grinded off from someone else. So I have to, I'm going to buy new ones. And hopefully that lifts it up to where it's not touching. Because when I had this motor in the Malibu, it did not touch. But if not, I'm going to add spacers in between here and the frame to lift it up. So that's another thing, and I don't want to pull this motor out, so I'm going to attempt to lift the motor up and do that work while the motor's hovering, hopefully. I do not want to take this motor out. Um, so we'll do that. So we've got the alternator to figure out, the starter to figure out, and uh, the motor mounts getting the uh, oil pan off the frame. And then finding the brackets to hold the rad and wiring up the or getting the gaskets for the water pump, wiring up the water pump, wiring up the fans, and then figuring out plumbing. This is rotatable. You rotate this because this is right where the belt is, that's for the lower rad hose goes in there but it's gonna hit the belt so I have to rotate it all the way around this way so that the hose comes down in there to the bottom and then you rotate this cap so that moroso straight the symbol there it's all rotatable so I know how to do that but there's two tops I'm told to go bridge it to a T there's a T, goes from there to the T, to there, from the T, and then to there. That's what I'm told. So I gotta figure that out. And then, after I do that with the motor mounts and all that other stuff, I could bolt my headers on and run my exhaust. Uh, I just had a drive shaft made. I'm wearing some good pants right now, so I'm gonna grab a mat. Hopefully, you guys can see. Brand new drive shaft, all installed. Cost me about 500 bucks. To have that made it came with solid U joints. They say to use solid U joints, they're way better than the hollow ones that you can grease. The hollow ones tend to snap under a lot of torque, so went with the solids. And then all I really have to do is you get this sensor, gotta run a hose to that hole in the intake from that sensor. 
Then I have to hook up my throttle linkage. And then basically uh, ready to go. Now, when I was putting this motor in, we busted a line on there, a brake line, which is where the oil pan's hitting the frame. So I gotta fix that line. And this master is shot. So I gotta change that master so that we have brakes. No sense in the car running and driving if we can't stop. So I gotta address that. And then I have to run all my lines from the regulator to the carb and all the way to the frame mounted holy fuel pump up there and then we're basically done so and I also want to thank you guys for uh, I've reached uh, 300 subscribers yay thanks a lot it's, it's getting there slowly but um, I need a thousand to get monetized again and uh, you guys want to see some awesome videos of this thing doing donuts and burnouts and racing and spanking people's ass subscribe let's get up to that uh, 1000 subscriber mark and uh because there will be much more exciting videos than building because uh as soon as this thing's done i have a front mounted camera and then that's my rear mounted camera sitting on the dash to look out the back window so we're gonna have somebody filming and we're gonna have a front view and a back view videos on youtube pretty soon um let's try and get monetized though the monetization if I get big, it will help move things along much faster. That YouTube money really helps. You know, that extra money, it, it really does help. So, um, yeah. Help me out. Subscribe. Make sure you like and uh, leave me a comment on anything here. If you know anything, any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Uh, I'm in the dark and I'm learning as I go. I wasn't taught how to do this swap. I've never done it. This is my first LS swap into any vehicle, so I'm kind of learning as I go. Uh, sorry about the shake cam. It's a new phone. The old phone censored out the shake. I don't know how, but it did. I went from a Samsung S8 Note, I think it's called. Yeah, S8 Note. Now I have a Samsung S5. Uh, the phone was shit and the company, which is Freedom Mobile, if anybody ever goes with them or is planning on going with them, I suggest you don't. Um, they'll sell you a refurbished phone that's a piece of shit and they don't want to do nothing about it. They make you pay for the insurance on the phone in case something happens, but yet they still want you to pay $250. So where's all that money I pay every month going? I don't know. So I sold their damn phone. And I got this one with the deal, cash and this, so whatever, I don't care. It, it calls and it texts and it works for me. Uh, I was going to get a GoPro until I was demonetized and from people who are uh, viewing my videos, they're, they don't seem that interested because if they were, there'd be a lot more subscriptions. You can just look at the amount of views on my videos I have compared to how many subs I have. So, obviously people don't care enough. So, I'm not going to go and spend money on a GoPro or a good camera to film this stuff if people don't care. So, if they don't care, then they don't care about the quality. So, it is what it is. Show me you care and I will upgrade and I will make things better. But, I'm not going to waste my time if I don't have the support. So that's that. Here's a little uh, update on this. This is my buddy's this parts car. It's all stripped. 
had a little fun there. We took the 3800 supercharged motor out. And the tranny, he blew his tranny. Well, his tranny is in the process of blowing. So that's why he bought this car. But also, we got the motor and he's got all the 40th anniversary interior. I think I said that in another video. <coughs> Took the 22s off the Escalade too. Here in our city, we pay taxes to fix our roads and our roads don't get fixed. So, there's nothing but crazy ass potholes everywhere. So, you can't have nothing nice, can't have nice rims. I keep blowing tires. So I bought these 20s. 20s allowed me to put a bigger sidewall. So, much more comfortable ride. I think it looks cleaner. But anyways, Thanks for watching. Make sure to sub. Let's get to a thousand subs. I appreciate the ones who subbed. Got me to 300. And uh, never thought I'd even get to 300. So, uh, yeah, help me out. And I'll make way better videos. There is more better videos coming. Burnouts, races, everything. Whole nine yards. We're going to go all out. But I am not going to buy a good camera, like I said, if people don't give a shit. So, it is what it is. Thanks for watching.